Welcome to a special edition of Alamo City Geek Speak. We're calling this the KI Cast. Cool. We're sitting down with Brandon Alexander of Ultra Arcade, and we have Sam with me, and I have Tyler with me. My name is Pete. How's everybody doing today? Doing good. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'm doing swell, man. You're doing swell. Yeah, you excited? You yeah, excited? Okay. I'm excited, yeah. So we're gonna jump right <laughs> into it. All right, KI World Cup. A couple weeks ago. How, Two weeks ago. Yeah. Just about almost. Just different. about right. Yeah. So. How how you feeling? Dude, I feel great, man. I think uh, the I mean the last interview, like I said, it was gonna we were saying it was gonna be hype, and it was like way more hype than I expected. So I'm doing pretty well, man. I mean the community's happy. They're very proud of the present presentation that we we uh, we did, and um, yeah, I couldn't be more happy. So, how do you feel about not being on the front of Twitch, but still getting like all those viewers and all that other stuff? Is that like super hype right there? Yeah, it feels awesome. It feels like, oh hey, you know, um, Ki has a has a spot, its own spotlight. You know what I mean? Right. And, and people wanted to see it, and um, and they loved every bit of it. You know, they were really hype. Um, and I think uh, it, it felt really good to beat Twitch in its own game. <laughs> you know I mean, it was like okay, beat the giant. yeah, yeah. We, so we know that. Is. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know, you know, we didn't really. Uh, I know Rick and I uh, reached out to Twitch uh, to see if they wanted to sponsor it and get us on the front page and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, we didn't really hear back from them. So kind of gave you the controller. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, obviously they had Pack South and all that stuff, yeah, so it was understandable. Yeah. You know, no hard feelings against them or anything like that. But it was uh, really awesome to see. That the people stepped up and, and supported Ki as much oh, as they definitely. did. And shout out to Max for hosting. Definitely, on his definitely, channel. man. He's he's awesome. He's really excited. He was really excited. He really loved the event, and uh, he liked his experience in San Antonio, from what I understand. So it was really good. cool meeting him too. Yeah. Well, that's sweet. Um, you know, like I, I couldn't I couldn't make it because I had an injury that I didn't go to, but I saw a lot of the stream. Yeah. And like instant like instant like uh regret that i couldn't just be there and in the midst of all of it um what are some of the highlights from cal world cup for you this year oh man there was so much so many for me because i mean i was emotional because like i said i'm not gonna lie like i i i thought that maybe 60 people were gonna show up (laughs) you know uh we probably hit like five to ten thousand viewers uh and it just we had at the door a record from pe- you know you know signups and stuff like mm-hmm. that and uh, people coming in getting X's on their hand because we sold out of badges like mm-hmm. I only printed two hundred <laughs> badges no kidding yeah. <laughs> so uh, we uh, we we uh, sold out on badges we sold out on, on merch which I was not expecting and um, nice. people are still buying merch which is I need to take that off I have to print more uh, merch real soon okay yeah. and. Um, that's good though. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we had, I think we had over like 650 people walk through that door. Sweet. That wasn't reoccurring, which is awesome throughout the whole weekend. Of course. Oh, yeah. And um, and that was huge. Right. Um, you know, it's the biggest KI event um, that we've ever had. So that's <laughs> ever a period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's you know, it's bigger than Evo. That's bigger than uh, we. You know, we beat the uh, Evo. Uh, record as far as the stream goes. Oh, wow. twenty five thousand people. Yeah, we hit. We peaked over twenty five thousand. But yeah, we. Yeah, yeah okay. it was. It was. That was a big highlight. Um, the Rip Tour mirror match was really hyped. That was uh, amazing. Yeah, oh, that was amazing. That it yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was the crazy thing about Ki Cup is you know uh, every match was like a a good fierce match. match. It was yeah. a good match. It was like the best of the best were here and it showed. On oh, stream, that's that's what was so exciting about it, and um, you know it was great that we had every single character within the top thirty-two mm-hmm. presented. Right. Yeah, like everybody yeah. was. I mean, there was wasn't like one character I didn't see a lot of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just like everybody was in there, and, that, and then that's how you know you have a good a good fighting game. That right. um, there isn't that one character that's overpowered to stopping yes, everybody else. Exactly, and, except and, for Shadow Diego. Yeah, well, I think Fulgur actually does that. <laughs> there that's, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah, um, you know, and and. and you know, and the rebalancing, the the teasers of you know oh, the new Halo hilarious. character coming. We've got you know Kim Wu coming, which is exciting. Yeah. I mean, season three is just going to be full. Oh, of man, I can't wait for Rash. Stuff, man. Got, Rash. The, got the play as Rash and Kim Wu at PAX actually, because I was there for yeah. a little bit of Saturday. Yeah. Uh, so that was one of the things that I really wanted to touch base on since I was like, okay, I have a few hours before my back really starts to just you know yeah. mess with me. I'm going to go play some uh, Killer Instinct at PAX. Love playing as Rash. Love playing Kim Wu. Um, you know. Are you excited about season three balance changes stuff like that? Oh, everything about it is is great. I mean, I, all I can say is, is that 
Iron Galaxy is doing an amazing job uh, making the game not only balanced, but uh, fun. Hideously mm -hmm. fun. It's ridiculous. Oh, I, I have so much fun playing Rash. Kim Woo is m amazing. An amazing character. Uh, I can't wait to see you know what they have next. Um, right. It's it's the, the cool thing about Ki is that there's always new content coming, mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's what I think Microsoft and Iron Galaxy are trying to achieve with Ki is just consistently you know surprising people and, and making the mechanics better. And mm -hmm. um, obviously they have the Ultra Netcode, that that godlike netcode. Oh, that man. it yeah. seems like it's still going to be some of the best netcode. Um, that we'll probably ever see in this generation of fighting games. Honestly, so, honestly, honestly yeah. yeah. And then you feel the way, like, I mean, come from like GGPO. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, it is really dang good netcode. Yeah. Know? It's it's the best, man. I, 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 I can't play on anything else. Not anymore. <laughs> I, you know, I can't. I, I you're spoiled. Spoiled. Yeah, yeah, you're spoiled. Yeah, you yeah. play anything else right now and you're just going to get laggy, laggy, laggy. Yeah, you, you get real judgmental. You're like, oh, man, this. this I could be code. playing KI right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I wish this game had this net code. So we'd have <laughs> every other game. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. How was uh, the World Cup kind of changing the culture around the actual uh, the arcade itself? You know, how was it coming in after that? Well, it was, it was great because a lot of people that only were Capcom guys. They're like, I only play Capcom games. Get out of here, Ki. <laughs> now we're playing Killer Instinct at Ultra. So oh, it's like, it's, oh, it's, nice. it's pretty cool that we uh, have a new, uh, a new like bunch of players just coming into the arcade. They're like, hey, I didn't know this was here. You know, yeah. well, we still have new people too coming. Yeah, like, yeah. they've never been to Ultra. Like, hey, I didn't know this place existed. I didn't know Max was coming. You know, all this. So, oh, awesome. Um, that's one of the things that we didn't really promote too hard in San Antonio. Right. We uh, just promoted within the KI scene because we knew the KI scene would show up. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it was it showed. They they, they, they had showed. to force you to put the ultra arcade logo on stuff, didn't they? Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, I wanted it to be official KI right. and, and, and keep it that way. But it was like, you know, Rick Rick was mainly the guy who's like, look, man, like you do a lot for Killer Instinct. Your whole, you know, you and David do a lot. Um, you got people that are part of the UA, like my friend Quincy. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of people that just do a lot, and mm -hmm. and so I, I I respected Rick's decision uh, as far as putting Ultra Arcade as the you know. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's really cool, and I think you know even Microsoft was happy about that. Um, they're like, yeah, no, you guys deserve it. You earned it, and you do. Coming, it, coming from them, that's yeah, that's no, hectic. Yeah, no, it's 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 exciting. So. Well, I mean, I think everybody really appreciates what you've done in Care World Cup 2016. Looking forward, yeah. I mean, what do you got planned? I mean, what do you, where do you go after this? So, I mean, there's so many venues. Well, not really so many. There's just a few that versus what I've had last year. I had one venue, so that's why I say so many. <laughs> so right. now I'm deciding between four or five that's, venues. That's more. Yeah, it's more. <laughs> and, you know, I, I think the venue that I, I, I'm going to decide, because all of the venues are good. Mm-hmm. Um, AT and T Center, you know, I, <laughs> not that big. I can't, I can't, I can't guarantee that big. But um, I know that the venue that um, that I that I make the decision on, it, it's going to be really awesome. You guys are going to really love it. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be premiere. It's going to be in San Antonio. Um, it's going to be close to the Riverwalk. Oh, you know, nice. it's going to be okay. downtown. So just in case if it falls on packs or if it doesn't. You know, there's still plenty of other great stuff to 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 do. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, you know, I'm excited to get this venue to the public eye, right? Just to like, see what it, yeah, just, like, just to get in its yeah, in because people were like, when I announced the venue last time, people were like, this venue looks awesome, and I was like, really, this venue is like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I went, in, honestly, I mean, no, no talk down oh, really at all. When I when we showed up, we drove up to it, it was in the, the corner of that yeah. strip center. Yeah. I was kind of like. Are we in the right place? <laughs> yeah, no. It's right next to a church of all <laughs> yeah. places. Killer Instinct's church is yeah, kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that, clashing. But well, then we walked in and I saw all the KI stuff and yeah. everybody was there. And, and the gyms, like, oh, right? I'm the, the gyms is right there in yeah, the Yeah, it's behind the gyms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, the, 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 the thing was about that, and, uh, and Rick and Alex and uh, Adam and I all talked about that. Um, I just booked it because I thought it was just going to be like a... A small thing, an intimate kind of yeah. engagement. Yeah, I was like, yeah. look, I'm just gonna, you know, this is all I can really afford. Mm -hmm. The, you know, book this venue. We have a venue. We have a, we have a home for Ki Cup. You can show up if you can't make it. Please watch. And that's how it was. And then the, the Ki Cup just started getting really, really, really blown, uh, blown up because mm -hmm. um, of how community driven it was. Yeah, you know, a lot of these people went out of their way just to help 
the event, and mm-hmm. you, know, you got people like James Chen, Maximilian, even Rick went out of his way, right. and um, you know you've, we've been we've been doing so many great things uh, this past past year with KI, and um, I'm just super stoked for the future of the game. I think the game's coming out on PC. Oh, I think man. that's hopefully going to beef the numbers up for Killer Instinct. I'm sure. That'll and, sure. Uh, and yeah. I think the fact that, that it's cross-platform too. Yeah, yeah so. it's, that's it's, probably the best part. Honestly. Yeah, I, I that's really gonna I'm, be the key point. Yeah, I'm really excited. There's so many things that that I just can't wait to see for this game, and mm-hmm. um, it has so much potential because of the netcode and uh, the balancing and the, the the community behind it. The community behind Ki is so different. Um, we're so, we're, it's almost, it's not, I don't want to call it a clan, but it almost is. Like, we could walk up to each other and be like, who do you main? I mean, and they say, we know exactly, who, almost know who the person is, just based yeah. on who they main type of thing. Yeah, and, and everyone's so nice. Oh, the, everybody was cool there. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. such a vastly different crowd being there. Yeah. That was my first, like, official, like, tournament event that I had been to. Yeah, that was for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. and it was like, it, like, everybody was, there's so, you get everybody from every spectrum of everything, and we're all cool with each other, you know, just, yeah. you know, we'll I'll shoot the shit with just the craziest of people, but it was, like, nothing. And I can honestly say that you don't get that from a lot of other communities really? all the time. And I can I, agree yeah, with that. Yeah, definitely. I'm not going to say which games, yeah. but there's a lot of games. But there's <laughs> some games that are games. the same You're way. You're experienced in the field. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, trust me. I go to a, a thing, that, a community event, and it doesn't want, I don't want to play the game anymore because oh, of that yeah, community. Because yeah. the community is so toxic. Yeah, so... Um, That's and, depressing. <laughs> you know, the competitive KI community that shows up, those guys are honest. They're mm-hmm. awesome. They're great. They're all humble. They're all competitive. But if you notice watching the event, it's like... The passion between them, you know, mm-hmm. like they they shake, know how mad they, they, are. they shake hands, they hug, they you know they appreciate each other, you know, because yeah. we're family. That's that's how yeah. we really treat each other, and it's funny because I I really uh, I I kind of started that. I started the whole hugging thing on stream and all that. I'm just like, hey, you know, uh, I mean, obviously, I'm sure there was hugs before, but I mean, like, yeah, I they, was like they've existed before. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> hugging's a thing, but like, I was the I was the most manly looking person that was just like that was amazing. Like, seeing you on the stream because like there was a point when you were like making announcements, you had a hair over your face and you're wearing the hoodie and it just looked gnarly and the light yeah. was behind you. Yeah, yeah, it was. Pretty and then you're just saying the stuff and you turn around and hug people and it was just yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people were like, ah, Brandon. I I've gotten so many tweets from uh, from everybody. They're like, "Damn, Brandon is adorable." Like, <laughs> I, thought was, like, I thought he was gonna like snap, like uh, you know, sleep's neck or something. <laughs> like, he, but he just hugged him, you know. And it's just because uh, you know, Dave and I and and uh, just everybody from UA, um, we love Ki. We love the community. We actually do love these people, and we put a lot on the line for for them. And it was worth it. It paid off. Absolutely. Um, we've got so many uh, companies interested in being part of the KI World Cup next year, and it's, it's exciting. So it's like, I just there's so many announcements that we're going to be having. I mean, obviously, we I will say this on your thing is on your uh, Alamo City Geek Speak uh, podcast that <laughs> the circuit starts in um, April. April. Alrighty. So we have a lot of uh, um, oh. I would say probably possibly the end of March, but the last week in March. But yeah, oh, awesome. it is technically the season starts in April and then it goes around and ends in in January. Oh, okay. January so, okay. so, woke up. Now, right. Right. Yeah. So, now, yeah. Yeah. now everybody knows. The yeah, no, everybody's now. been asking when is it going to start up again. It's like you'll you get a you get an announcement sometime in the next week or so. The, you just got to start after a point. You're just going to start staring at people. Twitter is a thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go to Twitter because I don't want to be talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So, personal feelings about, like, you know, kind of like, um, I guess, um, you know, compared to other competitions, you know, that we've been talking about and stuff like that, um, how do you think it's going to go out next year? you think it's going to be even, like, bigger than it was this year? And, and if it is, um, how do you think the game is going to be affected by that going into next year, after season three, after all this stuff comes out, you know? I mean, I know it's so kind of, you know, far away to kind of look at, but... I mean, in, in some ways, you kind of shape, you know, what the community is going to be after all of this stuff comes out. Yeah. And then after KI World Cup, you know, part two. KI World Cup part two. That's, that's, <laughs> that's so... Uh, well, this, this, this KI World Cup was the biggest stress I've ever had in my life, but it was worth it. Um, I can say the thing about me that I've learned from, um, you know, I've been learning under uh, Keats and Rick and stuff like that as far as how you you make a great event right um and those guys are, are they you know uftt was hands down one of the best events of all time ran, well ran 
Um, and then Combo Breaker was probably the best KI yeah, event man, outside really. of K the KI World Cup. Mm -hmm. So um, the thing about me is like, I want to be better every year. Right. So mm -hmm. this I can uh, officially say that KI World Cup will be bigger next year. Um, especially with the venue that we're, we're um, getting ready to announce real soon. So um, I'll say at this point, I mean, you started out big. Yeah, your, your margins are already. That, yeah, way yeah. Up. yeah I, I so all you have to do is just do the same thing, just bigger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, we we, uh, you know, you you support us. We continue to you know give our support back, and I think that uh, the KO World Cup this year is going to be one of the biggest events in general in FGC, uh, period. So um, um, last year, I mean, uh, this, I mean, last year. Three weeks ago, our, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, we uh, we uh, we beat a lot of events, yeah. like oh, yeah. just in general, and yeah. uh, um, and it's its first year. You know, uh, the production in itself with you know Chris Segula, Hanzo, and Spence, um, it is some of the best looking streaming setup. I mean, it was I mean, amazing. It, yeah. it was pristine because yeah. they even had the stream at PAX. So I was launching a little bit on it. I'm like, this looks so good. Yeah. Like, like this looks really great. Like the lighting's perfect. The audio is perfect. And when I went amazing. home later that night and I was watching the stream, I'm like, this is this is really good commentary also. So it's yeah. just like everybody's guys, on point. Like for this yeah. It's like you guys have been doing it for years. Yeah. 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 And that's the, the thing. And, and that's, that's why you hire your production manager, Rick. <laughs> Rick is one of the hands on one of the greatest people I've ever met and he has been the best. So supportive. He helped remake the Killer Instinct World Cup logo with me and it's like obviously it's the best logo. It's, awesome. it's my favorite logo of all time. And uh, I keep telling him I'm getting it tattooed on my arm and he's like, Don't let me refine it a little better, you know. <laughs> you know but uh, it, you know, um, when I knew that Rick came when 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 he showed me that logo. I was like, I knew, it was like destiny. You know what I mean? It was like that was it. I was like, I knew we, we had the same vision. Right. And um, you know, Combo Breaker was an amazing event. And this year, like, let's just say, guys, that that event is the next vocal next event to focus on going to. Uh, Combo Breaker is going to be huge this year. So can't say anything else. But it's going to be hype. It's going to be hype. Um, All right. So, um, be sure to keep an eye out. But yeah, no, the, the production was key, and I think that uh, we we nailed it out of park on literally everything. Mm -hmm. the from the last chance qualifiers to being on time, um, we, we did really good on being on time for having some, you know... I think some, in the first day we were ahead, weren't we? Uh, I'm not real sure. I was it so... Was, it was, they started a little earlier, uh, but by the time the third qualifier started, they were starting to run a little late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it was, it, was, it was a little late, but I mean... Like I said, we scheduled everything because we thought only sixty or seventy people were going to mm -hmm. show up. We and didn't. We didn't expect a packed house. This and then, mass and, 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 yeah. and then the and the, the last chance qualifiers. Like, there's so many people. Yeah, there were so many people, and they were all so great many. matches. Mm -hmm. And and I know I got stomped. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean I would have got stomped too if I signed. <laughs> I, 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 I had I had I had tyrant first round. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> first round. Oh, when I got a I got a professional fighting game player my first <laughs> match. All right. Yeah. Very first and first and keyword. And I want to reiterate something I said earlier. First competitive gaming. Like Certain, event I'd ever been to. Yeah, yeah. First round, very first, very round, first, first competitive match. fighting game I played again. Yeah, no, uh, that's that's you know that's what happens, uh, and, and you know we did really well for a, an invitational. You know, absolutely. Um, from what I hear, everybody was happy with it, and I think uh, next year. I mean, I'm just excited for next year. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I think everybody. Is yeah, at this I, point. yeah, I think. Uh, I was like, all right, I'll, when I was done with K, I was I'm gonna take a. I'm going to take a two-month break. I'm not doing anything. I already have everything planned out for next year anyways. Right. But no, later. like a week, literally a week later, I was like, I played, I, my goal was to finish Witcher 3 <laughs> and possibly try Fallout 4 and, you know, oh, play some Elder Scrolls Online and stuff, but right. I did little of every single thing. I played KI. maybe, yeah, no, I didn't even play KI. No. no. I, start, I started getting back into it because I'm going to, play competitively in season three but um hey, you're right yeah uh but uh i just was like i need to get a venue for next oh, year right i want to get a venue done i want to yeah. 
Let's get every, you're getting. Let's do all the stuff that d- it needs is to be doing done. stuff ahead of time, yeah. so you don't have to worry yeah. about it later. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like our parents taught us something at some point. Yeah, no. So I'm just like, I, you know, it's a year away, but still, I wanna, I wanna show people now what they're preparing for. Oh man, I want them to have a, a excitement because the one thing that people love about what we do is like, oh, my game, you know, it's a, it's a face of something. It's a, it's, it's. So we treat KI as a AAA title. We. Mm-hmm. We have helped KI become a big thing. Because exactly. KI doesn't get 25,000 viewers. Well, at KI World Cup, they get 25 or more. So, exactly. Um, and we want to keep uh, growing and, and building the community because that's what it's about. Um, it's cool, though, too, because, I mean, your, your event is focusing strictly on KI. So, yeah. it, you know, it, it really kind of helps develop itself because the people that want to go to that thing and want to be in that thing are of the KI community. Yeah. So, and the fact that it's good to begin with just helps it just... Manifest just snowballs and it just gets better and better and better. Yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope that snowball effect goes in the right way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I had a friend of mine that actually came over to San Antonio on Sunday, and he, he lived like maybe like three or four hours away from Dallas, and he's like, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna come down for Carol Cup," and I was like. He's like, really? Like, it's kind of a drive, man. He's like, I've been watching the stream since yesterday. I have to come. In. I have to come over. So he came <laughs> over on Sunday. Nice. Yeah, to see the you know the grand finals and everything else, and he said he loved it. And it was yeah. just like, and it's one of those things where it's like, he's 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 an online player. You know, yeah, yeah. He'll play online. You know, yeah, yeah. he doesn't have really like a local kind of scene over there where he's from. He works like a nine to five, and then he has another job after that. So, you know, whenever he gets to play, it's chaos. And yeah. then when he plays, you know, he has a lot of fun doing it. So he was like, you know what? This is like a really like a community driven, you know, event. And it felt good being around other people that were exactly like me, you know. Well, there's nothing wrong with being an online player, especially in KI. It's oh, yeah. It has yeah. the best neck. It has yeah. the best <laughs> neck. <code. laughs> yeah. uh, Gotta uh, reiterate. Yeah. yeah and not only when the, when the season starts, we are doing the thing again where uh, Top 32 gets points. But right. We might have something special for those Top 32 uh, oh, Warriors don't, this time don't around. Say that. So, um, <laughs> the more people that play, the better the game gets. So, I encourage everybody to play online because we're going to have a lot of online events. I mean, we have the best netcode. We can we can pretty much do that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, right. uh, I'm not worried about it. Yeah. So, I mean, we've got the 8 bit beatdown and we've probably got a little uh, professional league that we're going to be doing. So, that's something that, um, and that's all run through us ultra arcade um i'm pretty sure we'll get a lot of support for it Absolutely. Um, but we we feel like the online events are just as important as the offline events yeah Absolutely. so um with ki we really want to focus on the net play and getting uh events for the online immediately because oh, yeah. uh you know not everybody can travel but uh, yeah. they can they can sure as hell play on on great net code. oh yeah no so, and you you know ki is is false because it's on Xbox One and Windows 10. I right mean, on. they they worked really hard on, on perfecting that game's netcode and it shows. So it's 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 awesome. And yeah. once it's on PC and it's, you know, oh, yeah, it's, no it's gonna be yeah, yeah, yeah. it's gonna be huge. It's gonna yeah. I am gonna be playing it on PC too. Uh, so. A thousand times more awesome. Than yeah. Yeah. You, would you guys uh, consider kind of like I guess maybe shifting from Xbox One to PC or is it gonna be kind of something that you guys inter- like kind of interpolate inside of the actual arcade? Well, I mean, a, as a community guy, I. I I want to do what's best for the community. So a lot of people own Xbox One already. So right. I wouldn't just make the pure change, but um, um, I do think it being on PC could help the franchise a little better. Mm-hmm. The franchise meaning Ki. Um, so I've considered it. Um, I just if if as long as they play identical and we don't have any issues, then yeah, I've considered bringing uh, it to PC for Ki World Cup. Too. Nice. So, yeah, even then. Um, and you know, because I mean, PC is where you get all the big sponsors too. Exactly. Um, and, yeah, the, yeah. And, it, and it represents the game, I think, best on stream mm-hmm. because the game is in, in its full potential on PC. Exactly. So you know, it's running gorgeously. It's you know got the probably some of the best graphics you've ever seen type of thing. You know, it's all that kind of stuff. So yeah. we're really stoked about that. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so sick of waiting. Like, uh, yeah. When's he? Like, uh, when's he I, I don't have an official date because they haven't even told me. Yeah, I just know it's sometime in March. That's what I heard. I've like been, I've been, I've been trying to yeah. get some. Um, I, was... I, I think maybe, probably, it could be anywhere at the beginning or the end. Oh, That's, okay. I, I'm, I'm just guessing. We'll just, like, call it, we'll just say March. We'll just say yeah, March, March 2016. Is the best. Yeah, March <laughs> yeah. is the best because... Um, and it's a good even month. Then. <laughs> you, you've got you've got a lot of good stuff coming out because you got you got 
um, more content than a lot of other games that are coming out. Oh. You got the Mortal Kombat, you've got the Street Fighter, you've Street got Fighter's Street Fighter, you know, uh, well, well, you got Street Fighter with Alex. Alex comes oh, out. Oh, yeah, yeah. And oh, that's yeah. the so only reason why I care about Street Fighter Five. So. I'll still <laughs> figure about Alex being in Street Fighter V. Uh, I'm excited. I just hope they stay true to his original look yeah. and that they get better net code. That's all. Better net code. Better net code all around. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, Some of us, they got into beta Ken and Tess today because, yeah, it was a little. Yeah, a little I mean, touch I, and go. yeah, I've been in beta since day one and I was like. I'm going to play KI again. But <laughs> it's a, it is a good game. I do like it. I like the direction they're going. I just think that the netcode needs to be, you know, that's that's my only issue. It's just the netcode. I like the, the game. I think it's good. It's gorgeous. The music's cool. Um, it's got Alex, so um, it has my support. <laughs> Alex is always cool. Um, and I think, you know, Street Fighter is one of those games that uh, it made the FGC. It really did, mm -hmm. and um, and I'll always respect Street Fighter for what it's done. It's one of the original. Yeah, games. yeah, and uh, it, it's the whole reason why Ki exists, whole reason why Mortal Kombat exists. Yep. You yeah. know, it's, it's Street Fighter is the only reason I'm playing Ki because of the guy that uh, Info. Info yeah. is the best, and he will be at Ki World Cup too for sure. So oh, if you want to be there, that would be crazy. Yeah, and that's you know I'm confirming because I'm gonna force him to be flown out by me. <laughs> okay. You know, I, I gotta thank the guy for giving me the game. Yeah. See, that's the thing is like people don't have like a you know a, a a, a, yeah a, an outlet or a face for him it's like you just go to his website and uh it's there and it's the best guide for pretty much any fighting game it's like whoa this is amazing <laughs> so um and then larry lcd just re released a pretty decent video um and then say jam one of the greatest comment the greatest commentator for killer instinct <laughs> um he released uh, a bunch of stuff that you can find on his uh uh, YouTube, I think it's like Superman Say Jam. I need to get all this information and like get this locked in my head. So <laughs> right start on, pushing yeah. it. So you start it. plugging it, yeah, yeah, plugging it Everybody's for people. Gotta but throw it down because all these like guys go out of the way for Ki. Right. Like Say Jam was, you know, hey, he's a Yeah, he's great. He's the, he's one of the best. He's my uh, Deadpool of Ki. <laughs> um, and um, him and Info came together and made these awesome videos, and people loved it. Like it, it's like so the the information, all that stuff. It got a lot of people into KI. That event got a lot of people playing Killer Instinct and a lot of people buying the game. And, yeah. So, I think next year is just going to be even better. So, and get everybody there. Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody's going to come in for KI World Cup. And, man, we just can't wait, you know, obviously. I'm just um, dying for Season 3. Yeah, I see me, too. Too. me too. Yeah. Me too, yeah. I need that Season 3 like I need... Those new I mechanics. Can't. With, yeah. with, uh, with Rash coming out, I mean, what other... What other uh, uh, guest characters or other type of character or other characters in general would you like to see which is a, this is the funniest subject that I always get asked about so like okay so everyone knows I'm the, you know pretty much one of the biggest community leaders for this game right, right. so um, you didn't only be, you just hosted the, the biggest <laughs> yeah. event that it's ever had yeah, yeah, you yeah, see on Twitter when yeah. you post on Twitter. so, so the, the, the thing is, is that people always give me feedback and I'm like uh well, I don't know. You know, people are like, hey, you should throw this character in, this character in. Well, my personal opinion on this is the per, it's, and it's just just doesn't because I love Ki. It's 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 amazing. The guest characters have been perfect for me. Right. Like, mm -hmm. okay, so I, I was awesome. yeah, yeah, like the, the the thing was like, I, if I could have any guest character in Ki, it'd be Rash. I <laughs> said that like in season one <laughs> i said that in season one i was like it's a rare title come on rash would be awesome yeah and then boom they give me rash and i'm like i didn't even know about it gamescom <laughs> i'm freaking out like oh my god <laughs> you know? they listen yeah they listen you know and then um and then we're like okay well we need a character that can help market the game and i suggested master chief and that is not because i wanted him he i, I always when i when i would post about master chief uh it would be like Master Chief is the hero that Ki needs, you know, because he's just he's a, you know my, my grandma doesn't know what Halo is, but she knows who Master Chief she is. Knows Master Chief. <laughs> you know what I mean? Same and uh, yeah, same uh, thing with my mom. Yeah, so yeah. so it's like you know he's just such a, a big marketing character. But I've always said, and a lot of my responses to people are like, well, I prefer Arbiter. I'm like, I agree. I would love Arbiter, but. Arbor, I felt like, didn't really have that big of marketing presence. Right. But if they put him in, I'm not even going to be mad, because that's who I really want. Right. And and they're like, Arbiter, pretty much. And I'm just like, uh, uh <laughs> is that him? Like, I can't, you know, I'm just like, you know, tri tripping out about it. And I, I'm, I'm really excited Arbor, to see the, you know, the final trailer reveal, you know, to see if that's actually him. Or, or whatever. I know. I've I've heard rumors. I haven't seen anything else. Yeah. Than that. So, I've only seen the teaser video I saw on Kotaku. I was like, oh, 
Well, yeah. I wonder who that is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody, everybody's calling it Arbiter, so, you know, I'm just like, oh, it's Arbiter, so I'm just like, whatever. We're, we're going <laughs> to sure, call, yeah, call it Arbiter, <laughs> you know, because it's, it's him, but I know uh, um, that so far the guest character's been perfect, yeah. so I'm just like... Uh, any, any, anything you'd like? Uh, you want to try to make a future like, prediction? Theoretically. Oh, like, like season three, I mean, like, like they, or season four? I keep... Well, now it's like, I got the two guest characters I need. I don't need anybody else, you know? Uh, I'm getting Tusk and Fulgore. I've got those guys, so, right. like... Set. I'm pretty much set. I mean, I've never played a fighting game where I play... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be maining four characters. That is Fulgore. That is going to be Rash. That is going to be Arbiter, you know? Uh, and that is going to be... Uh, Tusk. Right. So that's four. I've never played four characters in a fighting game. A lot of people don't even play two. You know, yeah, yeah. One. yeah. Yeah. So, so in chaos, yeah, you can you can get away with doing one. Right. You know, because mm-hmm. um, it's that balance. But you learn how to counter other people's characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, man, like if I could, uh, if it would be a perfect roster, if I, you know, got Joanna Dark. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, that'd be I think that'd be cool because I mean, who knows? Maybe they might eventually make another game with her, and then uh, <laughs> Rogan Leah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there's a new Spawn movie. Coming oh, out. That yeah. So hurt. we, yeah, I read about that. Yeah, McFarlane's yeah. done with the script. He's ready to come out with it. He's gonna get a director and then start pushing that out. It'd be kind of cool to have Spawn back in the game. Yeah, yeah. I think that the, the the thing about nostalgia, all of these guest characters are in, for me. A nostalgia presence, and they're Absolutely. also good at marketing. I think, uh, uh, not Joanna Dark, not so much, but like yeah. Spawn was like big thing in the '90s, and it's and still kind of big. When Namco did it with Soul Calibur, it was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you know, I I thought that game was fun. Soul Calibur Two is my favorite Soul oh, Calibur. So, it worked, you yeah, know, for second, for second. the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I played the Xbox one. That's why I was like, Spawn's like one of my favorite. Yeah, games. yeah I had Xbox I played, and that game too. Yeah, I, yeah me too. <laughs> I, I loved it so much. I, I was like, Link's in a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> Besides Smash, like, let's go. So I I jumped on the Soul Calibur bandwagon because of the guest characters. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And that's just shows you how powerful a guest character is to a fighting game. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. And I, I I try to tell people that I'm like, look, I would have never played Soul caliber in my life i never played any soul caliber before that never when i heard that link my favorite video game character of all time was coming to soul caliber i bought a gamecube i bought a <laughs> i bought soul caliber 2 i pre-ordered it i never pre-ordered games before then and i was like boom i'm playing this fighting game and back then it was like a 2003 2004 yeah. so pre-ordering yeah. the game was like the only way to get the game yeah like you yeah. had to pre-order yeah so we're gonna get a copy of it until Walmart got it, it was like two out. months later yeah yeah, yeah so it was back when games are 45 dollars yeah. <laughs> 50 bucks yeah yeah so when i got that i was like dude this is awesome like and it was so back at back that time the gamecube to me had this, the most beautiful graphics and um, and then they had Spawn on Xbox. I was like, "Dang it!" So they got they got me twice. Yeah. I bought an Xbox, and I bought a GameCube. Um, and uh, I'm not saying that people will buy an Xbox One for you know Spawn, but people will get into it I, because of the, they'll absolutely. get into the to yeah. KI. You know, especially they have a PC. We bought an, we bought an Xbox, Xbox One for KI. For KI so. specifically. specifically. Yeah. Well, that's, that's <laughs> that tells you how good. That's how that tells you how good of a game it is. Yeah. Well, you know, um, pretty salty. There's no like KI bundle. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. I, I was like, man, if they release the KI bundle, that'd be amazing. Like, and like an, Xbox, K- an Xbox KI. One that's plated like full war. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. make all the lighting detail. My life. Jeez, that would make my life. You <laughs> but you would carry that when around with you. Yeah, when you, whenever you open up, whenever you open, pull up, pop out a disc, it makes the sound of his, his yeah. reactor. Charging. Oh yeah, that's a brilliant idea. They that's should like great. hire you for that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's that's oh my gosh, a reactor Xbox. That's that'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'd buy it. Yeah, no, I would too. I, I, <laughs> I've bought, I've probably purchased over twenty Xbox ones. <laughs> not just not just for, just for KI. Yeah, but <laughs> well, no, originally when we opened the business, we, you know, Dave and I, we spent money on like a crap ton of uh, of Xboxes, and because you know nobody had them, and we wanted to support KI. Absolutely. We were the first, fir- one of the first uh, su- uh, supporters for KI, and uh, especially in Texas, mm-hmm. and you know it's been paying off, man. We the game is growing and it's getting bigger and bigger, and I think I think it would be smart for them to do a. Uh, a limited edition uh, a KI bundle. Um, I mean, it is—it's expensive to get that stuff done. Yeah. But you know, I, I think that um, 
supporting the IP is the the most important thing you can do Absolutely. to help grow your game. And it's um, something that's so specifically Microsoft and so saturated. Yeah, Xbox. and I, 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 you know, I'll say this too. I'm actually happy that you know uh, they have you know Microsoft Studios and uh, and Iron Galaxy. You know, have, they they have this game because mm-hmm. uh, they're they're doing all the right things for it right now. Um, and they're doing great. Yeah, yeah, the game is is coming out awesome. As a fan, it's just like. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, you, you don't. Not only that, you get the classic AIs too, mm-hmm. so which you, is awesome yeah, too, yeah, yeah. So you don't need rare replay. Yeah, yeah, you can. Well, not just rare to, replay, but to some extent, you get KI Gold with rare replay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get KI one and um, two with the ultra edition. With the ultra oh, yeah, edition, yeah, yeah, yeah with online play. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, so man. that is yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, right? I mean, it's like oh. But so not only do you get to get your your ass beat against computers, now you get to get your ass beat by people online. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the people that play on that game online. Cause I was never good at classic AI. No, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, I loved atrocious. it. I loved it. I just loved the only thing I could do is fireball on DP. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, I, and I was just like, and I beat some people, but like when the when the big dogs came in, I was just like, oh. back, back away way. slowly. I remember playing on the cabin back at. Uh, Aladdin's Castle is old, grungy-ass arcade back where I'm from. <laughs> and, um, yeah, like, yeah, I would play with my brother, and, of course, and he'd be losing his quarters, and, you know, left and right, you know, because I was okay at it. And the same thing, you know, I was just using pokes, and just like, oh, the one move I can do, I'm going to go ahead and use it, like, 30 yeah. times. And then the guys would come in who actually played, and they'd just be like, yeah, get off, kid, you're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's time for you to leave. Yeah, it's yeah, time for yeah. me to leave, yeah. You, you know, they quarter up, and then I'd be out of there immediately. But, I mean, that's the kind of, like, you know, well, competitive nature behind the old school. It yeah. was really, really it, hard to get into and really yeah, perfect. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But now, you look at KI now, KI is really easy to get into. And it is. And, and it's a little harder to master. But um, you... you uh, I mean, everything is hard to master, in my opinion. Unless it's, like, uh, checkers or something. There you go. You know, uh, <laughs> Even then, I know some yeah. people that know how to play checkers that, like, you know, they're just on point and playing against yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they mastered it, though. Yeah, you know, I guess you're right. So, um, But, yeah, no, I mean, we we have so many options with KI. There's um, combo assist. Really easy. They're working on fixing the, the hell out of that, that function, which is mm-hmm. awesome. Sweet. Um, I'm excited to see what... Uh, once it's finally done and once it's tournament legal and, and see how people react to it um, because it's it's going to get so many it's going to bring in so many new competitors you know mm-hmm. um, and then you've got combo breaker training because combo breaker that back then so you're awesome. just like I don't know mm-hmm. how to do this like, yeah exactly yeah. but uh, in this game you can learn how to do it I mean it's already easy but breaking like the t- this you know certain time time like manuals and stuff like that you can learn just by they have a, their own training for it right mm-hmm. um and then uh you know we got shadows mode like that is one of the greatest modes in any fighting game and people don't utilize it as much they need to mm-hmm. um because it can help you with so many matchups i mean i can train against rico without playing rico right. his shadows yeah. one of the best shadows in the game and i can just practice against him and when i play him um online when we run sets I can go. I, I could give him a hard time. I can go toe to toe with him. I can take matches off him and stuff like that. Right on, yeah. And you know, he's one of the best. He's the he's the best player in the game. And I've been saying it forever. Hey, you proved it. Yeah, he proved <laughs> yeah, it again. He, he made me very proud because he's earned it. He deserved it. Um, you know, he he he's going to be one of the most dominant forces until someone else steps up. And I think mm-hmm. Sleep and Base are are the the two guys that can make that happen. Mm-hmm. Um, Sleep's it's, terrifying. Yeah, sleep is a he's a monster. Don't mess with him. So, but you know, not to discredit everybody else, but I mean, I yeah, just no, watching he, sleep play maybe just not want to play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no. so, oh man, I'm just yeah. not even gonna bother. Yeah. So, um, but you know, there's some, you know people like my god, my god's good too. Oh man, going you know, the whole the whole top thirty two. Those were all champions in their own right. And that's mm-hmm. why they received a medal, you know. Um, I mean, none of them were... There wasn't, like... Everybody had something they were specifically really good at. Nobody was, like, dominantly better than anybody else. Exactly. I mean, um... I even would Rico. Even Rico, like, you know, like, you know... Uh, what was it? Uh, Rebello, like... Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, when he picked Omen, but he... Rico's the type of guy that sticks it out. He's like, I'm gonna keep playing this character until I beat you. And he did it, and he won. So, uh, Show for all my 
Yeah, Omen, man. Yeah, that him. was the final. That was the final character we needed to see in Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah. I, I, what was funny is I just said something to Tyler, and the crowd was like, man, we we're trying to think about all the characters we had seen and see if we, it's like, have we seen everybody? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I haven't seen any Omens. Boom. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it was crazy because only Rico could win with that. You know what I mean? Rico is the only guy that could put a a beating on a professional player with Omen. Uh, <laughs> he's the only one that like actually takes the time and learns the characters and their matchups and how to use utilize their tools properly. Now you can watch Grand Finals. My God does great against Glacius. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Rico, his fundamentals, his patience, all that stuff mm-hmm. paid off. He punished my God for every single mistake that he did. Right. And that's why he won the World Cup. He showed that he was a dominant force mm-hmm. in, in Grand Finals. And I couldn't be more happier with him winning. Like, I was just like, yes, this is the guy that needed to win the Cat World Cup. You know? <laughs> and he, he, he's, he, he's an awesome he's awesome dude. He supports the game. Um, he never complains. Yeah. And that's what I love about top competitors. They shouldn't complain. There's, there, there's other ways to go about situations. And, and he always says the right thing. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's been really good. Bass is another one. Um, you know, that's pretty much all I got on that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm coming from the uh, I hate losing field. Yeah. I, I can feel some of the, the you know frustration a lot of people feel. Because, I mean, there's points in time where, like, you, you find yourself playing a game and you think that you had it down. You think that your strategy shouldn't be yeah. losing. In your head, when you lose, you're like, it shouldn't be happening. Why is this happening? So you're, yeah. you get more mad at yourself yeah, than, the, than the opposing people. Because, I mean, regardless of what excuses you come up with, you know, oh, he's spamming, or oh, he's doing this, or yo, he won't stop doing this. Yeah, it's like, well, I mean, this is part of the game. It's in the game. Yeah. yeah. This is there something are ways you should around learn how to work every it. single situation in that game. Yeah. Whether it's patience, rush down, etc. So, mm-hmm. I mean, KI has every every option. You've got shadow counters to avoid pressure. You've got combo breakers to avoid damage. You've got, you know, hard knockdowns to pressure your opponent. I mean, I can, the list awesome. goes on. You have so many yeah, options cool. that you don't get in other fighting games. That's mm-hmm. true. Too, you know, yeah. you, you may have 50-50s. But if you guess right, you can punish them for guessing right. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, just it's it's the mechanics, the combo system, everything in KI is is almost damn near perfect. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I said, a lot of stuff, you know, in season three they're fixing the kinks, and and I think once you guys see how great season three is, it's it's gonna be worth the wait. Oh yeah, man. Even though I hate waiting more than anything. It ain't more than really. exactly. Yeah, yeah. we we'll feel you. So. I guess uh, kind of closing up the, our great conversation we've been having, you know, what are you looking forward to coming out soon? I am looking forward to obviously season three. I'm looking forward to announcing the KI World Cup venue. I'm ex- excited to announce more stuff about KI um, on our part. I'm excited about Street Fighter tonight. <laughs> uh, I want to see how good this game is. Um, oh, yeah. I, I think it's going to do exceptionally well. Um, and I, I want to support it. So, you know, uh, mind if we come by and play sometime? Yeah, yeah, of course. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You can play all you want. You want to bring our setups PC. and stuff like that? Yeah, go for it. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, definitely. Um, Do you know if it's cross platform? Yeah, of it is cross platform. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. PC to PS4. PC to PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. I mean, I mean, they're like your, they're like hey, it's polar opposite in a way. Yeah, well, the thing Except is, is that bad net code. you know, it's bad net code. Yeah, you said it, not me, man. But uh, you know the the thing is, is that that alone shows that KI is doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. You Heck know, yeah. uh, um, to be fair, um, Sony did announce that they were doing cross platform before KI did. Oh, okay, um, I didn't know. know that. Yeah, yeah. So they didn't announce it well enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. I guess they didn't do it like at a big E three conference. I guess. Yeah. But um, I do plan on doing a lot more KI related things. I I, I do plan on. Um, getting more Xbox games together. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, I mean, obviously you see Halo come to Killer Instinct. I think that... That's a I Yeah, I think that, really you cool. know, that they were able to play it at the X Games, too, that was going on. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Halo definitely was, yeah. They had an X huh. Games competition. Yeah. The uh, World Championship, or one of the Championship Series was just recently in Mexico this past weekend, so huh. I'm pretty close to home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Halo. We're so, next door. Yeah, so, um, we, yeah, we love Halo individually, too. Yeah, yeah, so you might actually see some cool cool things with with the way I'm, I'm trying to do ki- things. Because I think, overall, if the Xbox games come together, like Gears of War, uh, you know, made this awesome, badass event, you know, that has 
Killer Instinct on the main stage, as Halo on the main stage, and Gears of War on the main stage, um, and maybe even something like Smite, I think bringing those games together not only will help KI grow, um, but it will help the community grow. The whole I just think so too, yeah. like, yeah. you know, I'm sure Halo guys are going to want to come over and play KI after the recent announcements and stuff like that. I'm sure all the retro guys who remember Rash are definitely going to pick up KI now. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, if they can do something like a big event like that, I mean, I mean, everybody would sign up. I would sign up. I think, and it's like a really good idea, to especially to do something like that, because then all the people that are there for other games get a chance to try out the games that they're not exactly. there for. Exactly. Yeah. And it really helps that expand, because, you know, it could be somebody there just lost their shit at, like, Halo. Yeah. So he's turning out and be like, you know, I'm going to beat the hell of this little kid at KI for, like, 20 minutes and make myself <laughs> feel better. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, it's, 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 it's something that I'm really thinking about getting into and who knows maybe next year ki world cup would have a lineup of ki world, K- killer instinct will always be the main game at the ki world cup obviously, obviously right. <laughs> and then we might have halo yeah, right. and then we'll have gears of war and maybe a smite competition That'd be so um, you know i've been thinking about stuff like that is just bringing the xbox fans together because mm-hmm. um you know Everybody that has Xbox One has access to Killer Instinct, but they also have access to Halo. They have access to Gears of War, and a lot of the, a lot of people that play these games, um, you know, uh, get into Ki or they play all of them. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, it's like I don't just play Gears. I've been playing. I've been, uh, we've been we've been playing Smite since Alpha on PC. Me so, too. I mean, now Odin can run in and out of his ring. That's crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. So um, I think. Um, that bringing those games together would probably help the game out, and that's kind of something I'm focused on. And it involves like KICon in a sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to get KICon, uh, you know, to be at KO World Cup this year, but maybe I might have to separate them. I'm not real sure. I mm-hmm. haven't, you know, that's all. That's the hardest part is getting the con because my goal with KICon is to get the voice actors down for the game. Uh, Hopefully, you know, it, well, you know be, if we, if we have them have a local yeah. fight against each yeah, other. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. combo breakers. Just yeah. argue with each other, but in, like, their yeah, voices. Yeah, yeah, you know, like Keith David, who does Arbiter's voice, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Keith David. Yeah, I don't know if he's I actually... Yeah. completely forget, Yeah, I don't know if he's actually that. doing the voice for, for, for the character in the game. I hope so, because I I'll be I just very him. disappointed. If you're listening, guys, <laughs> you like, better I mean, be. If you got time for Saints Row, I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a personal statement. opinion. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, you know. So if if this game is just getting better and better and more perfect as it goes uh, goes along, and I think that the event should be the same way. So I think that you know, KI Cup next year, you know, I'm gonna try to focus on really getting the voice actors down, and uh, um, including him, and then. You know, voice actor for Master Chief. You know, just keep trying. Yeah. Just try hey, you know, get the art, get a bunch of artists from the you know developing side That'd and, be sweet. and, yeah, and so. local artists and stuff like that to get a you know a miniature type con thing going on. And then Can't you know it's the one. Yeah, like and then you know with the third year, if um, you know Ki is still doing really well, um, maybe go all out and make the venue just bigger and bigger and do a full on con. That'd be scary. You know, um, I think that. Um, this San Antonio can benefit from this. I think the community from for Ki, Years of War, Halo, Smite can benefit from this. I think everyone can benefit from this, and that's kind of why just benefits all around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, those are just a few ideas that I have. Um, so I mean, feel free. You know, um, everybody on Twitter at Xbox Viking can give me feedback on this. Be like, hey, you know, I think you should do this and whatever. And you know, I, I'm I'm the type of guy that listens to that everything right. so you tweet to me i see it you Excellent. know if it's something that it's worth reading a second time i will respond if it's not i'm just like be bye. gone bye bye, bye. Be gone with you. <laughs> yeah like i i don't don't spam just <laughs> just give us a friendly conversation you yeah a friendly topic yeah yeah you know <laughs> um but yeah no i i again like i said i mean if anything i have to close on i mean shout outs to uh my my friend david rubin who's Absolutely. the other owner of ultra who i met him he helped me put together these freaking cabs yeah yeah he's it. the master of, of fixing those rec room cabs shout out to wayne for sending those because wayne has helped this business out a lot we've helped his business as well but he has been a savior for helping us out with getting cabinets and stuff like that mm-hmm. um shout out to mark man 
for all his hard work with Mad Cats. He just left Mad Cats. Yeah, I, just, I, I, yeah. I, I, so, you saw that on, there, on yeah, Twitter earlier. So, um, shout outs to him, definitely. Yeah, but again, shout outs to David Rubin for all his support and having my back on everything. Because he's not only my business partner, but he's also invested on, uh, like on a lot of stuff that I've done. And right on. It's paid off, and he's really happy to see what's going on with KI and everything else. And um, shout outs to Adam Is Green and, and uh, James from Microsoft those guys have been so supportive on the Microsoft side they're pushing for KI like they're pushing to make KI a thing and people need to know that and um, and Adam Hart Keats you know uh, Rick Alex Bailey, like those guys have been so awesome Chris Segula Hanzo Spence my, my beautiful girlfriend Nadia um there's like so many people. You guys, uh, <laughs> thank you. So all the people uh, that competed. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah, that competed. Top thirty-two. The, the community. Team. You the know, community. Well, I already thanked them by throwing the cups. So I don't need. <laughs> I don't need to. You know, that's, that's. I've given you everything. Yeah, I've given them everything that they wanted. You know, and um, I, I think it's cool because a lot of people, you know, and I'm not trying to say this because I love Evo. That is my favorite event by far, and I think everybody should go to it because it is pretty much the go. E3 of of fighting game events. Right. But people, you know, like, like, well, I mean, you know, why, why go to Evo when I go to Kaiko? You know, yeah. You know, it's like why, <laughs> we don't you need. You got a good point. There. You know, and that's a lot. That's a lot of international players saying that. And then, and like I said, I, I think that Evo is very important. And Evo is very community driven. It's always been right. since the beginning. And you know, people have been upset. You know that it's on Saturday or whatever day it is. It's like. Well then, that's all on you guys. Right. You guys need to show up. You guys need to go to Evo, mm-hmm. and and prove to them that your game is worth being on on Sunday. You know, right, that's yeah. that's how you do it. So, um, and Thank I res- you. you know I respect them for everything that they do for the community, and uh, it's I will say that I appreciate everybody with their great feedback because I've heard nothing but great things about KI World Cup, mm-hmm. nothing but great things, and um, next year is just going to be better. So, can't, can't, yeah. can't wait. Brandy, thank you so much for your time with us today. Um, can't wait for Season 3. Can't wait for KL, you know, KL World Cup 2017. And that brand new venue. Thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, no, thank, thank you, you so guys much. for being so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No problem. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, we'll give you some KI Season 1 and 2 Ultra Edition codes. Sweet, yeah. Sweet. You guys can raffle off to your subscribers. We'd love to oh, raffle those off. Like yeah, absolutely. So yeah. yeah, Raffles for everyone. I'm sure everybody's excited about that. Well, I'm Pete. This is Sam. Yeah. Go ahead and say your name, Sam. I'm Sam. <laughs> I'm Tyler. And I'm Brandon Alexander, head of KI World Cup, and you're watching Alamo City Geek Speak. Woo! All right. Thank you.